Hello everyone! Today we're gonna do in Notion exact same replica of reading list template. Let's create reading list template, add a page, templates. I already selected reading list, click use this template. We don't need this, so we can delete it. And let's see what we have here. We have different views, articles, podcasts, film and TV, and so on. I want to create new section books. It is a reading list template and they don't have books in it. How it is possible? So I'm going to click here, go to type properties and create book section. Give it the same color, which is default, I think. I have chosen Glennon Doll's book as an example. I'm going to just type name, choose status. Author is Glennon Doyle. Create. Give some coloring as well. And maybe add little summary. If we click outside the window, you can see that there is no book we just created. Because we are in the articles view. I'm going to create a new view. Books. I'm going to choose gallery view because they use gallery view for everything except academic journals and all. Mistakenly, I chose table view instead of gallery view, so let's switch. As you can see, my book is here as well as everything else they have in this template, but I don't want it. I want the way they have here. For example, in articles view, there are articles related things and etc. How did they do it? The answer is filter. As you can see, they used one rule. And we're gonna do the same thing. Let's start creating reading list page. Add a page, name it reading list. We know that they're using color view and if we click here, this is not the color we want. I'm gonna delete it. Create again the reading list. Empty with icon. I'm going to type book, type slash, and find gallery inline. Click. And this is what they have. Let's delete this. We don't want it. I'm going to call it my list. You can choose whatever name you want for it. Before we start at things, let's go back to reading list template. Click and see what properties they have. I'm going to take a screen of it and see what's there. I'm going to use snipping tool and place this screen on another monitor, which you can't see. Let's go back to our reading list, new, and let's start at some properties. First of all, they have status here. Type status. And as a property, they chose select. We can have only one choice here. For example, I'm going to create ready to start, that is what they have. I'm going to add one to read and as you can see, old ones are switched with new ones. So you can have only one status here. That's it, reading, finished, listening and you can also add watching if you're going to have film and TV. So I'm going to choose one to read. Next one is author. And for author, they have chosen multi-select property. And here you can choose as many as you want at the same time. Author is Glennon Doyle, create. Next property is date, which they called publishing release. Choose date as a property. And the book was, pu was published on March 10th, 2020. Next one is publisher, property is select, and publisher is the dial press. Link comes next, and the property should be URL, and I'm gonna paste book read link. Summary is next, and that will be text property, and I'm gonna just paste small summary here. Next one is score, out of five, and the property is select. If we go back to reading list template and click on score, 
you can see that they have stars here and we want the same thing. I'm going to just click these dots, copy, control C, go back to my reading list, type control V and create. Next comes four stars, three stars, two and one. We can choose color for these stars and I'm going to pick pink or you can leave uh, as it is, it's up to you. On Bookread it has almost five stars so I'm going to pick five as well. I also want to create my score. So first, first one will be a score that people and critics have given the book and my score will be the way I'm going to rate it. So repeat the same steps what we've done for this score. And the last one is type, which is also select property. And here I'm going to create article, book, podcast, film and TV, and whatever you want to add. I forgot to name it, it's type untamed. I'm going to co copy image address, type slash image and paste end link. I don't want the image to be this big, so let's resize it and copy the whole summary as well. It didn't copy well, but right now that is not a worry. I already have the key, next one want an article. I chose whatever article came out first. Status so going to be reading. I also can add an author and other things as well, but we're not going to waste time for that right now. Just choose article for the type property and also paste the text that news had. We have article and we have book and let's make some views. Type books, choose color view and click create. As you can see, we also have another view and I'm going to name it articles. We also can add podcasts, film and TV, and all, which is table view. Let's go back to articles and do that filter thing. So we come here, click filter, add filter, and we say where type is article, and you see it's filtered. Go back to books, do the same thing. Filter, add filter, where type is book. And again, it's filter, but there is no book here. Let's see what mistake I made. Choose all from views, click on untamed, and as you can see, I selected wrong type here. Now, if we go back to books view, it will appear. We also can reposition the image. And you can do the same thing for every views you have. Type, podcast, do the same thing for film and TV, but not for all. Because when we chose all view, we can see everything we have on our list. So that was all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.